There, now we got a fish on. Oh, it's a good one. Everybody, thanks for coming back to the channel. You know who I am, I'm John from Faith and Fishing. We have Todd the Kayak Warrior, JC from Rad Reeling, and the new kids on the block, we got Jay-Z Reeling. They do a ton of stuff on the Skyway. So if you're interested in Skyway fishing from the pier or just around the pier, check them out. Everybody's gonna be in the description below. So we are out here, we're gonna be fishing the same pier, and we have a little competition going. So you're gonna be able to see everybody's perspective on their own videos, so you're gonna have to check them out. But the loser today is gonna have to pay a price and it's gonna be something I just don't wanna lose today. So <laughs> let's just put it that way. So stay tuned and um, I wanna see which one of these guys has to do that thing. Wind is supposed to be blowing today at about 11 miles an hour. Picks up at noon to about 15 or so and then settles back down again. <laughs> I say settles down, but you know, gets calmer than that. The hand on the rudder the whole time here. Don't want this spinning me around. Because that would be just bad news. Oh, we're on. We're on. Fighting. Fish on, fish on. The day is young. The day is young. About 13 maybe, 14. Fish on guys, fish on. Doesn't feel heavy, but... Wow, now he's fighting. Smaller guy, but he's on. Here we go. The shown. Oh, he's digging. Okay, come on. Well, it's fish number three. He's gonna be small though. Too close for comfort. Let's get this filler crab on there. All right, we got a fish on. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. But well, we got another one. If we can get the net over there, small guy. Alright guys, so today's Word on the Water is brought to you by the Bible. Read it, love it, live it. Alright, so it's a little bit wavy, a little bit windy, but we're going to do our best here. Um, today's verse is Luke 6, verse 28. And it basically says, bless those that curse you and pray for those that despitefully use you or those that mistreat you. This is very hard to do. Um, it definitely does not come naturally, and it's something that you have to do on purpose and with intent. There's no doubt about it. And when I read that verse, it really makes me think about the whole situation with uh, with Russia and Ukraine. Um, you know, you hear a lot on social media, and everybody, you know, pray for Ukraine, pray for Ukraine, help Ukraine. But according to Scripture, we should be praying for Russia. Um, they're the ones causing issues, they're the ones 
you know, cursing or mistreating um, Ukraine in this situation. And they need prayer. We need to keep them in mind as well as them being the aggressors. They are in definite need of God. They're in definite need of a savior. I don't want to say don't pray for Ukraine. Pray for them, of course. But also think about praying for Russia. If you're being abused by somebody or somebody is just, you know, bullying you around, pray for them. Pray that God works in their heart. Pray that God touches their heart. And it's amazing what that might impact and how how that could really turn around uh, a relationship, especially one uh, involved in, in abuse or, or things of that nature. So it's very hard to do, and that's just a lot of scripture comes that way. It, it's not easy. It's not something that is natural to man because we, we are fallen, we are failable, and, and we really do need to be deliberate in everything that we do. So I hope this is encouragement to anyone who perhaps is in a situation like that. Hopefully it's encouraging to people um, you know, of Ukraine, people of Russia, especially those who don't want what's going on right now. It's very political, it's very uh, just ridiculous from the outside looking in, but that's the nature of man. Uh, man is just evil and we see a lot of that in, in world leaders and rulers today so i think it's a very powerful impactful verse and it's a reminder that we need to pray not only for our families and for those that we love but also for those who would really do us harm or mean us harm they need it perhaps more than we do so let's keep that in mind and um, let's get back for a fishing trip Fish on. It's another thirteen. You scored? What'd you get? Nice. Uh, what is it? Probably about 10, 15 right now. So a couple hours, yeah. I'm gonna interrupt these guys. How many you got? I've got three keepers in the box. Three keepers in the box. Yep. All right. Making my rounds here. Trying to limit out for the guys today, you know? And this is a this is a better fish, I think. This is a better fish. He might keep. I think he'll do more than keep. Huh? I think he'll do more than keep. He's gonna keep me from, uh, he might keep me from eating something. Oh yeah. That's that bottom sweeper style jig in his mouth. I got that from my buddy Andre. Um, I'm not sure where he picked it up. He is a little over 14 and a half. But he's also number five in the box. So my goal is to limit out today and uh, hopefully we can do that. That's the worst. Yep. Come on. Uh -oh. I don't think he's big. They are. <laughs> they bite. Everybody. 
small one, but keep it. You know what? I, I love this. Oh, I know. You know? I know. I haven't wanted to do something like this for a while, but now I finally have enough relationships through YouTube to like, hey, let's do this. He's fighting. We got a Tampa Bay Fishing Club jig head in there. Check out the video that was released right before this one. It's a review of this toadfish collapsible knife right here. The one that I carry with me all the time. Did a review on that and also at the end of it I mentioned that if you comment on that video what you would like to see reviewed next, I'm going to put all those people into a giveaway. Uh, it's gonna be a random giveaway, maybe out fishing apparel shirt, maybe just some some gear, some lures. We'll see. Uh, depends how I feel that day. And of course, we have to have enough participation in, in able to do that. So, if you haven't yet, go to that video. I can link it here at the end of this video. Check it out, watch it, put your suggestion in there, like the video, share it, and also be subscribed in order to win. There we go, fish on. Wow. How bad did he want it? He choked a, he choked the bottom sweeper. Wow. He choked the bottom sweeper. <laughs> oh no. Wow, that's a first for me. Well, he's not winning tournaments, but he's gonna be winning dinner. Six keepers. Six keepers looking for two more. Awesome. Right, it's 11.30, so. Yeah. By the time we're gonna quit, we're just gonna keep going till. You know, um, they were supposed to have, the salooners were, eight o'clock and then three o'clock but the fish don't care today right. they've been biting all day okay. so i mean when everybody's done i guess we can keep fishing until we beat 16 and a half inches right that's pretty much the goal <laughs> once once i hit an 18 incher then we're all out <laughs> that's it everybody goes home that's it fish on Not gonna keep, but it's a lot this size here. There's a lot here this size. I don't know. Right in the top of the mouth. All right. Thanks, buddy. There, now we got a fish on. Oh, it's a good one. This is a good one. Get away from that piling. Ah. Oh. He was foul hooked. Look at this guy. You see that? Todd. On the side, he falling with 17 inches. I thought I had a monster. All right, guys, this is us all signing off. The guys just ate their crabs like the, the good gentlemen soldiers that they are. So, again, shout out to the new guys, Jay-Z Reeling. Check them out, Skyway Fishing Pier, do a lot of that stuff. Rad Reeling does not need any introduction. This guy, I don't want to tell you his name. You already know, he's been on the channel so many times. Todd the Kayak Warrior. Yeah. All links again in the description. Tight lines, guys. Be blessed.